welcome back to another Iowa Carver beer review and today we have one from Stone Brewing this is the Lucky Bastard this is a, a, a special one uh, to the point that it is um, it is a blend of Arrogant Bastard Ale the Double Bastard the Barrel Aged Bastard um, is that it? Uh, I, I believe so. Anyway, they it, it's a blend, and then they dry hop it, and they come up with this one that is the Lucky Bastard. And somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they do this every two years, this, this particular beer. I've already got it poured out here because I wanted to take some photos of it. Let me top it off here. But uh, it poured out with about, oh, not quite an inch of head. Uh, but as you can see, it's a nice dark mahogany color. The carbonation appears to be a little bit on the lighter side. Which you can't hardly even see it. But uh, but this is uh, uh, comes in at 8.5% uh, ABV. Sorry. Um, the IBUs, I really don't know what that is, and I don't know what the hops they've used in this. So, may say that on the bottle. I haven't read the bottle. So, uh, let's go ahead and get a, a whiff on it. <laughs> wow, more than anything, I'm getting uh, some deep, rich malts here. not getting a huge amount of hops slight amount of uh, citrus on it but uh primarily i'm getting i'm getting the malt bill here so um which i don't know what the malts are um you know i would expect that if there's a just do the color there's a lot of caramel malts here some you know a bit of roasted malts and what have you plus you know whatever goes into those other beers is this is a blend so let's go ahead and get a let's go ahead and get a taste on it I'm getting a lot of sweet sweetness here sweet um, caramel malts some toasted malt um, it's got a nice bitterness to it it's not a uh, hops in your face at all um, I get some uh, I do get some citrus on it, a little bit of piney I get a little bit of the oak here um, this is fairly cold um, should let it warm up a little bit and see if you know with the oakiness if some of the vanilla notes coming out I don't get the vanilla up front anyway it's got a real nice bitterness to it on the back of the tongue finishes fairly dry I think the overriding thing is this is you know got got a fair amount of rich rich malts in it and, and rich and toasty malts that's that's a along with that bitterness um, I like this beer a lot also feeling that uh, eight and a half percent alcohol on it um, this is a nice beer. I like it. Yeah, that that's a, a nice one. I, I thought, uh, you know, for a pairing, um, you know, I did uh, a little bit of jalapeno cheese and a cracker here. Let's see how that... Uh,
mm, that jal jalapeno really even brings that sweetness to the front even more so that's very nice that's good As that heat starts to come out on that cheese the malts the sweetness of the malts and a little bit of that dry hopping accentuates all that really nice beer I like this a lot I like big malty you know sweet with hops and, and what have you like some of the modern barley wines and stuff and I like this beer a lot um, just really done nicely done beer um, well crafted that's the lucky bastard from stone the 2014 release coming in at an eight and a half percent IB or ABV I'm sorry uh, just overall, I'd probably give this a four and a quarter out of five. Hey, if you haven't had it, you know, this this beer comes right now. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't know if you can buy this in a bottle by itself. Maybe you can. Uh, I bought this in a four-pack along with Arrogant Bastard Ale, the regular Arrogant Bastard Ale, the Double Bastard, the Lucky Bastard and the Oak Age um, Arrogant Bastard and I think I got it for like 17 bucks and what a freaking deal that is so hey if you can find it in your area pick it up hey thanks for joining me again today on another Iowa Carver beer review we got another one coming soon thanks